Hello, in this video I want to talk about this really great application. It is called iorad.com and basically what it allows you to do is create some dynamite tutorials in seconds. What it does is it creates the tutorial as you are clicking and even gives you guidelines and then it can be an interactive tutorial so it will look kind of like this and I'm going to show you how to build it in a second and you can also do a printed pdf if that's what you're looking for even a video and with the premium features you can actually turn on audio so you can narrate through the tutorial also so i am going to be showing you some of the features of the paid plan because i do have that right now and if you are a teacher it is 50 percent off but there is a free plan and i think that you can get a lot done with the free plan right now for some of the tutorials i'm putting together I was really looking for some of the advanced features like being able to mask data and particularly being able to export as a Word or Google Doc because I do that all the time and then also the voiceover recording because I'm a big fan of that as you may know from me creating a video tutorial right now. So let me dive into what this looks like. I was making a flip grid for my first little test and it was really good. I'm going to just recreate some of those steps and then take you through what I have done. So to get started I went back to IRAD now capture and there are two things that you can do you can capture from the web which is what i normally do or you can also capture from the desktop you just have to download their app i haven't done that quite yet but that's very important to know because sometimes you want to demo something that is not a web app but i'm going to just go with the web app right now launch and then i would go ahead and press the start button now select or open a tab to capture and that's just what i'm doing i can see that i'm capturing right now that's the little icon for the irad extension so now I just click, just click and go. So my first step would be clicking there and then I would probably be telling people how to add a new grid. All I'm doing at this point is clicking the buttons that I would normally click to do this. Once I'm done creating my tutorial, I just go back up here and I say done. If I needed to pause, I could resume restart but I'm done and then that will bring me into the editor so what it has done is it has captured all my clicks all my typing all my drop-down selections and it's also created this text that I can edit so it said the first step is to open capture tutorial and click educator login well I didn't want that part the first step is to click educator login so I can edit it as I please if I wanted to add audio again this is a premium feature but I have it I can do that right here it will automate my audio with a robotic voice but I can actually customize the audio and I can record my own audio right here the first step is to click educator login and then I can even edit if I need to the first step is to click educator login there we go great for me Let's close out of here and go back and see the tutorial. So now I must have accidentally double clicked so it picked that up twice. So this step I don't need, I can just delete it. So now my second step, click add new grid. I probably would put a little bit more context in here. So let me show you the one that I kind of tweaked so you can see what I did with it. So I actually put in a little bit more information here. The first step is to go to flipgrid.com and that will actually become a link and click educator login. And then I guess I was talking people through finding the grid and I was giving them more information about the difference between a grid and a topic because that's something that I know some people that I've worked with struggle understanding the first couple times. And then I kind of go through that. And then even when I'm typing, you see how this says type instead of click, it says type. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the tutorial when I publish it, cause it's pretty cool. And when it's a drop down, it would even pick up the whole drop down menu. So I just thought this was really so simple because instead of needing to take screenshots and think about what to type, it automates it all for me. And then I just edit what to type and it just made the process so, so easy. Now let me show you what it looks like when you finish in preview. The interactive one is pretty cool, so if I press start, I can turn offer on the audio. I was just playing with it, so I had it turned on and I haven't customized that yet. So if you go through this, then your learner, whoever's doing the tutorial, would click along with you. They can read, they can click, go to the next thing. And then on these fields, in order to go to the next thing, you can actually type. And then when I pressed enter, it went to the next step. 
and then to get past the step, I would press click. Thought that was pretty neat. And then if you choose video, then it actually shows you clicking all the buttons and even typing whatever you had typed. So I just thought that was pretty cool to pick up all of those details automatically for you. And then another option that you have is to print it as a PDF, which I know is a popular option, and it creates a really nice PDF for you. Just like so. Now, if you do purchase the premium, then you will also get the ability to export, and you can export it directly to your Google Drive, and it would plop into a Google Doc that is then editable there too. So that was something that I was looking for and one of the reasons I decided to try this out. And I have been beyond impressed so far. I'll tell you that as I used it, I'm kind of a fan of the audio. So I'm going to be interested to see how the teachers I work with react as I play around with this and give them the option to interact with it. And then it could read aloud to them or not, depending on what they needed. So this is just me having just started playing with it and I just was so impressed that I wanted to make a quick little video and share with you guys. So that's it for now. Bye.